Hey everybody, welcome to Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe, hit the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much. Let's get started. Hockey is back, and I'm so excited. You know, the, there was a lot of rumors floating around about this January 13th uh, start date. Nothing was been made official. There's been constant things been thrown around of how many games we're playing, when it's going to start. Uh, some people even said this may go until February 1st because it was taking so long to get an official word, but it's been made official. The league is starting up on January 13th. So um, I got some dates that I got I want to go over, um, you know, some dates to keep in mind of what's key that's going to happen during the year, uh, what, what a lot of fans uh, like to look forward to, and the divisions, how they're set up, and what may happen leading into the playoffs. So the NHL and the NHLPA finally came to an agreement to start the season on the uh, January 13th. The season will be 56 games, and that was a number that was thrown around. You heard 48. They wanted at least 48. You heard as much as 62, but 56, so it's not bad. And we'll start on Wednesday, January 30, 13th, uh, 2021, and um, we'll conclude on May 8th of 2021. Training camps are permitted to open on December 31st. Um, dates to keep in mind. So training camps open up December 31st. Puck drop of the official start of the uh, NHL season starts on January 13th. Uh, trade deadline is April 12th. The end of the season is on uh, May 8th. The expansion draft is July 21st. Um, the, NHL, the NHL draft is in July 23rd, 24th. And free agency opens up on July 28th. Um, the four divisions, how it's set up, the top four of each division make the playoffs. There's no wild cards this year, so that's totally different from the years past. So let's go over how the four divisions stand. You know, you have the Central Division, Hurricanes, the Blackhawks, the Blue Jackets, the Stars, the Red Wings, the Panthers, the Predators, and the Lightning. Um, the North, and it's uh, the Flames, the Oilers, the Canadians, the Senators, uh, the Maple Leafs, the Canucks, and the Jets. And that's going to be a fun division to watch. All Canadian teams, that's going to be a blast to see who makes the top four in that division. You have the East. You have the Bruins, the Sabres, the Devils, the Islanders, the Rangers, the Flyers, the Penguins, the Capitals. So I'm a Devils fan, as you can see, so it's going to be tough for my team to make it. You know, you have uh, the Bruins, who are constantly going to be a good team. Uh, the Sabres made a lot of improvements this year. You know, Devils brought in some key personnel this year, too. The Islanders look good. The Rangers with Lafreniere, see how their team uh, goes this year. Uh, Flyers have a great roster. The Penguins made a couple of different uh, acquisitions, see how they lie. And the Capitals are always good year after year. So our division is going to be really tough to make the top four. But, you know, who knows? We'll see. Uh, so I'll say it again, 2020, you never know. Um, then you have the West. It's the Ducks, the Coyotes, the Avalanche, the Kings, the Wild, the Sharks, the Blues, and the Knights. So like I said before, the top four of each division make it, and um, there's no wild card. So it should be a fun season. Um, you know, we're going to see what happens, where they're all going to play. I think that's still up in the air at this point. Um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see, but um, it's going to be fun. I'm glad hockey's back. It's finally been made official. I thought it would be where they would announce it like on Monday or Tuesday, but I'm kind of glad they did it on Sunday. So I'm excited, guys and girls. I really am. I, I couldn't wait for this this date to be officially announced. Now you're going to hear a lot of rumors start to kick up. Teams are going to want to finalize their rosters. A lot of teams are still up against the cap where they're going to want to make some moves to shed some cap. So you're going to see a lot of those bottom teams making moves to probably take on a bad contract. Uh, for a player so um it's gonna be fun you're gonna start seeing the rest of those uh ufas that are still out there start to get signed to their teams to see where they're gonna play a lot of the rfas are still unsigned where they're gonna have to need new deals uh going into this year so um it's gonna be fun the rest of the rest of the couple of weeks leading up until um january 13th is gonna be fun so definitely keep an eye out on this if there's anything that happens i'll do a video on it stay tuned so um Hockey's back. That's all I can say. I'm excited. I know all you guys and girls are as well. We've all been waiting for this day, and it's finally been made official. So, can't wait for that puck drop. Comment below what you think about this. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate your time. Smash that like button. And if you haven't done so, subscribe to the Hockey Skate Down. Join our hockey team. Thank you all so much. Have a great rest of the night. Have a great day tomorrow. Stay safe. Take it easy.